It's it's like like action gamey while well, not yeah, really it's action like, game. Because like the combat was like, all right, it doesn't go into a transition and like it transitions, but it's not like I am not in an arena. It's, it's strange. An it's an action RPG. I'll grab you and I'll throw you, says Incineroar, getting ready to fight <laughs> Sparky's Duck Hunt and against Shine Burst, the Incineroar. And right, 42%, 57! Oh, jeez. I was not looking at the right screen. <laughs> also, aw, it's Incineroar. Incineroar! Yeah, it's, so a character like Incineroar just kind of has to let Duck Hunt set up, which is exactly the problem with the Duck Hunt matchup, is you don't want him to set up. Like, you only want him to be able to throw out can consistent. Because there's, really, there's not really much you can do about a yeah, frame one option. This seems like an awful matchup for Incineroar. <laughs> like, he just kind of has to take it all and then, like, maybe revenge some of it and try and kill Duck Hunt at 70. Which is like plausible, but <laughs> not consistent. Mm hmm. In other words, not worth it. Yeah, I guess it's one way to put it. But some people like their their character loyalty, and Incineroar Main seem to be one of those people, with the exception of Jet. Jet, Jet, Jet. God, that cat is just stalking. <laughs> That's that was <laughs> watching. Shine burst run away from that can from dear life. Great job with Sparky minimizing when uh, what uh, what Shine is getting off of revenge. He's he's getting it plenty of times because there's just so many projectiles and that's part of a zoner's game plan. It's like I'm gonna keep you out. But once he ends up getting any sort of revenge stacked up, it's like you're gonna land a soft nair. That's it. And yeah, that's. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's not looking good for uh, Incineroar, but he's really gotta. He's gotta do something. He's gotta do something, whether it's smart or it's stupid. Either way, he's gotta do it. And right now, that is not happening because he is in super kill percent for Duck Hunt. Because if Duck Hunt gets an X Smash on you, you explode. If Duck Hunt gets an up air on you, you explode. If Duck Hunt forces you off stage and you are Incineroar, you are probably going to die. And the fact that that did not kill just says that Incineroar probably needs some help because he is going to get hit by something. Probably that I can, or not. Yeah, I'll he couldn't even like revenge it because he didn't know where it was going to go. But currently, Duck Hunt just playing his game. He knows he can play his game because he is Duck Hunt against Incineroar. Goes behind the can, doesn't have anything to worry, doesn't even die from his own can. He is invincible in his heart. And he is surprisingly not going to combo that into an up air. I am genuinely shocked. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was waiting for the up smash half shield. But... Like, oh, I mean, right now, I, it looks like he's pretty satisfying just playing whatever game he wants. He gets the, up, yeah. he gets the kill, he's in a good spot. I would not worry. If I was uh, Duck Hunt, I'd be like, I win. I would be like, I win. I just want Shine to I'm go going to these platforms. up air because Incineroar's only way of getting in is trying to go in above. So I'm going to up air over and over, and there's a literally a 0% chance of Incineroar winning. And that is the physics of Super Smash. Just, he keeps trying to land on these platforms and like use them as a, like, I don't know, as a staging ground for his offense. But he died. He, he mega exploded. Yeah. You only need to, to jank him out twice now. Not impossible, but it's improbable. Unless Three? what? I forgot uh, that. One. Clay pigeon's wild, but it's <laughs> it's like he's dead. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Side bets on whether or not he's safe. I got ten dollars on him switching. I'm not taking that bet. You're pathetic. I don't know why you would play this matchup to begin with. <laughs> Dude, honestly, Duck Hunt's model really low poly. I mean, he comes from a game that is pretty, you know. Well, it's the just... last Duck Hunt was. Well, I don't know what year was Duck Hunt made. 1980, like four, five. Yeah. Uh -oh. Something like that. It was 1985. Uh. Well, it might have come out earlier because Famicom released in Japan first. But either way, Duck Hunt so looking like kind of sad. 82, 83. Hmm. Also, you were wrong. He didn't main Shulk. 
I know. I, I, I'm, I am incorrect. Let's go. Hungry Box yeah. is in need of a major comeback. I Hungry mean, Shine Burst. Hungry Box is in need of a major comeback. Shine Burst is in need of a major comeback. Chunky Soup's pretty good, though. Not gonna lie. Chunky. Chunky Kong. Chunky. <laughs> Chunky Kong is here. Who's your favorite Kong, uh, Gans? Uh, probably Donkey. Donkey. Yeah, Donkey is the easy answer, I would say. In my opinion. I don't know, some people might like Diddy, I guess. Because, like, even, even, like, in terms of, like, stupidity, Donkey is, like, up there. Just, cause like, he's, he's like, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's good, he's man. Paid. I would have won that bet. Fuck. He had a really good evolution. Wow, you actually would have won that bet. Oh my god. You gotta Should've believe, gotta believe in yourself, Google. I, you know, gotta take it. Just doesn't make sense. Would it would have felt great? Given how, you know, ninety four unanswered. This is looking not good. Can. But it was also looking worse that he didn't take that bet. Yeah. F's in chat for my 10 bucks that I will not get. <laughs> it's hard to know when to, like, try and, uh, what, what's, uh, what's the move where he just, like, absorbs the hit? Oh, I might like Revenge? It. Yeah, it's hard to know even when to revenge because there's just so many weird things that come out of Duck Hunt, including, like, those gunmen that just hit you at any moment. Um, yeah. they have names? What are the, what's that one's name? That's that one's um, name. Joseph. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm pretty sure each gunman has a different time. They all have different ranges, but I'm pretty sure they have a different timings as well when they shoot. I think you're right, actually. Uh, that's why it, it is. It's a total mix-up, and it's hard enough. Like this character isn't very popular, and then having to know like where the, when the gunman shoots and how they shoot. Yeah. Seventy plus characters. Then, Seventy plus characters, by the way. Like I know, I know. Can can uh, can is always shot in the direction that it was originally laid out in. So if he's facing left and kicks can, then can will be pinged to the left. But you can interact with can with aerials and tilts and stuff to send it in any direction you please. Gods, what's Which that is... one's name? What? What was that gunman's name? Um. <laughs> Steve. No, that one's Joseph. Yeah, that one's Joseph. The other one was Steve. Alright, what about... So got... oh, that's Steve, that's Steve. Okay. okay, so we got Joe, Joseph... What's that one? Steve. Um, Billy. Alright, alright, that one makes sense to me. Yeah, I like that Billy. That's, right. the, that's the only one that was like... I could actually see them naming that. Alright, what about that one? That looks like a Joseph. But, the, but that... Is that... So there's two Josephs? Yeah. Oh, alright. It's Joe and Joseph. I didn't know that, thank you. Oh. We call one of them Joey. Wow, dude. All right, so uh, Shineverse finally getting the stock and kind of in a weird way, but it works out. Now he's going to spin about it. Is revenge dash attack still a thing? Like, is the revenge hitbox into dash attack? I think it's only... If, I think it's a tech situation. It's not true. Because that was, like, pre-patch. When they... Before they buffed revenge, they, um... Making the hitbox bigger. You could connect the... Uh the flaring hitbox after countering something and just like straight up dash attack something and like kill them. But now I think it's stronger, so you have to you have to read the tech. Oh my god, that was really close. Uh he just barely snapped the ledge. Evan Gunman was there and everything, but we'll see man, I mean he's at that high percent, all takes a little bit of revenge and could have a dead dog, but gotta get in first. And uh, that's not really it's hard to do. <laughs> yeah, so that's not looking too good. So, but it's doable. Incineroar is rather heavy, and heavy's on Wi-Fi. You know what are you gonna do? Yeah, uh, Sparky's actually he's getting pretty clever with the cl uh, can placements. He's been meeting Shine Burst a lot on his landings and kind of predicting where he's going. It just feels like Shine is like stuck to these platforms, and like some, it's okay just to let. Let your shield to eat some of this punishment sometimes. Not a, not a ton of it does. None of the projectiles do a ton of shield damage. Like, okay. I mean, you can definitely counter some of it. it. Looks like it's pretty, pretty strong, but great tech. Oh my god. He got saved by the can. Uh, and saved by the bell. Saved by the can once again. Getting out of a really dangerous position because he's about to get grabbed and thrown out of here. Can is just worse grenade. 
with better sound effects. Yeah, cartoony sound effects always make things more fun. Unless they're stock, then it's just annoying. I would I would argue that it's fun in a completely different way. Wow, that was weird looking. I was, what was that? The the disc it was into a pigeon into up smash. Yeah. Oh my god. Pigeon is like super. It's it's like um like the Lynx boomerang. Like you can just be reverse it into like pretty much anything you. Yeah, into imagination basically. Um, hey, this is looking pretty bad for Shine Bursts. Uh, now it's looking oh, terrible because he just lost it. the uh, classic. Yeah. Well, that was actually closer than we expected for game two, so you gotta give him. Some he stops. was too stocked though. But yeah, okay. I guess it was closer than game one. Yeah, I mean it, it, that's true. But like, well played by Sparky, regardless. Well.